Do we need zucchini, summer squash? Yeah. Let's do some of the venison with rosemary. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I am a permaculture designer, homesteader, biologist, carpenter, kind of a jack of all trades. I've spent a lot of time in the wilderness. Ever since I was 19, I started as a park ranger, and I had a lot of time for weeks on end completely by myself. And those have always been super formative times in my life. I'm doing this because I'm a homesteader without a homestead. I have a very strong drive to build my own house, and that's financially out of my reach right now. But I don't want to fantasize about life. I want to I want to live it. I know how to work hard. I know how to use my body and my hands and my brain all together. And I'm out here for the long run. I don't have any loose ends untied at home at all. I've just got the most supportive girlfriend I could possibly hope for. Be safe. And barring medical accidents or something like that, I think I'm going to do really well. There are places in the world where you can be dropped off with the right things in your head, stark naked, and figure out how to get through. This is not one of those places. One mistake will take you out. So I've selected my items because I have personal experience with them and their utility. These are my 10 items to help me survive. First one I selected is a negative 30 degree synthetic sleeping bag. I almost consider not bringing one of these because you can make a shelter that is warm enough to go without a sleeping bag, but that's a thing that you have to do every day and it saves a lot of time to just have a sleeping bag. Next, I made a pretty standard bushcrafting survival knife. I put a bow drill socket into here because a ferro rod is not one of my 10 items, and I made the sheath for it as well. I'm bringing parachute cord. It's just kind of like backcountry woodsman's duct tape. I intend to use it for making my shelter, making fishing lures, making fishing line. It's just good stuff to have. Next is a self-built ax. It's built to specifications precisely for northern survival. I carved the handle for this axe, and I found the head out of an antique store. Everything about this axe I built for this particular trip. One of the hardest things in nature to replicate is a good pot. And this one has been with me all over the Northwest, and I've cooked hundreds of meals out of it. I made myself emergency rations because we don't have a natural source of salt out in this environment. I brought a pocket knife that has six different shaped blades in it. The largest blade in it is only about an inch and a quarter long, but I can do all kinds of whittling tasks with this, making traps and other tools as needed. I brought 300 yards of 20 pound test line and 25 assorted hooks. They are octopus hooks and they're anodized red, so they actually have a little bit of color to them, so they might actually be an attractant in and of themselves. And my second to last item is a gill net. I handmade this gill net out of vine bank line, and gill netting has been a productive source of, of catching fish in this region. So got really high hopes for this thing. And lastly is my bow. Uh, I have a very old recurve bow. This was made in 1965 and shoots like a dream. I've been doing archery now since I was a kid, so I've got really high hopes for this item as well. Those are my 10 items. Wish me luck.